It's time for the weekly news with Adam Yetzer. It was kind of a sad week because there were several notable deaths. Uh, Hollywood's first black movie star and the first black actor to win an Oscar, Sidney Poitier, died at the age of 94. He was a pioneer in the industry, and his Oscar win paved the way for future Black Academy Award nominees like Morgan Freeman, Mahershala Ali, and Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> <laughs> One thing's for sure, Poitier will be mispronounced. Uh, on Wednesday, former Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, who passed away in December, lied and stayed at the U.S. Capitol, where Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi lied every other day this week. <laughs> 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 and of course, this week, we lost a man who was a beloved comedic actor and television host, a talented director, and a terrible stand-up comedian, Bob Saget. <laughs> <laughs> Leah Thomas, the transgender U Penn swimmer who transitioned from male to female, has now lost to a Yale swimmer who is transitioning from female to male. Their amazing story will be documented in the new ESPN original film, Crotch Swap. <laughs> Kind of like Face Off, except the rivals switch crotches. But this goes to show you, biological women can beat transgender women so long as you turn them into men first. <laughs> and Leah Thomas previously broke several women's swimming records and is the only member of the women's swim team who can stand in the six feet deep part of the pool. <laughs> The three Georgia men who murdered Ahmad Arbery were all sentenced to life in prison. They're looking forward to the nicer clothing and better haircuts they'll get in jail. <laughs> <laughs> a Planned Parenthood clinic in Tennessee was burned to the ground by an arsonist this week. Thankfully, no one was killed, unlike a normal business day. <laughs> Planned Parenthood has vowed to find the culprit and offered their condolences to anyone whose baby survived the incident. <laughs> Just to be clear, I don't, I don't condone uh, Planned Parenthood arson. <laughs> <They're just jokes. laughs> Let's let them be the bad guys. <laughs> For the first time ever, surgeons at the University of Maryland successfully transplanted a pig heart into a human, which proves you can't trust science. First, they told us bacon was bad for your heart. Now they're making entire hearts out of bacon. <laughs> a Bel Air home, which is the most expensive in America, is about to hit auction for $295 million. This couple from House Hunters who sell macaroni art and run gerbil daycare have it on their favorites list. <laughs> a Gallup poll found that Americans are reading fewer books than they have in the past, and the only one most Americans plan to finish in 2022 is the book of Boba Fett. <laughs> Archaeologists in Spain believe they have discovered the long-lost Temple of Hercules. The temple was identified by an enormous sculpture of Kevin Sorbo, along with etchings of several jokes he stole from the Babylon Bee. <laughs> He'll probably tweet that joke out with no credit <laughs> with given. No credit. Uh, that's it for the weekly news. If you want to see more, check out the canceled news on my YouTube channel. Greetings, YouTube. Beep bop, beep bop. Our reading show that you must like, subscribe, ring the bell, and comment, or you shall be destroyed. Beep bop, boop, beep bop. Is this thing on? Speak to a person. Destroy Earth. No, speak to a person.